Hi friends, hope you are doing great. In the last video, we have discussed about the work of great Iranian filmmaker Moshen Makhmalbaf. If you haven't checked the video yet, I have put the link of the video in the description. Do check it out. So today I am going to bring you the fourth episode of the series Everything You Need to Know About Iranian Cinema. And the director we are going to discuss about today is one of the most known Iranian filmmaker worldwide, Majid Majidi. Hi friends, I am Rudra Rupsen Gupta, independent filmmaker and writer from Kolkata, India. So let me give the disclaimer that I give in the start of every of my video. This video is not made for entertainment purpose. It will be more of an informative video for serious cinephiles. As you know, the channel is dedicated to serious cinephiles only. Many of our Indian viewers may recognize Majid Majidi as he has also made an Indian film. The name of the film is Beyond the Clouds, starring Ishan Khattar. The striking thing that I feel about Majidi's work is that his narratives are very simple, yet all of them are extremely human. As you may have known from our previous video, that Majidi himself has worked as an actor in Makmalbar's boycott. If you haven't seen the earlier video, you should check out the link that I have provided in the description. Uh, then he made a couple of documentaries and films. But today we are going to discuss about the most highlighted and celebrated films of Majid Majidi. In 1998, he made a film called Children of Heaven. So this is a very simple story of two children, a brother and a sister coming from a very poor family living in Tehran and their adventures surrounding a lost shoe. The film has a very innocent feel to it and that is the most powerful thing about the film. There are some fantastic sequences throughout the film. Uh, like when the little girl sees her lost shoe in someone else's feet. It's a heart-wrenching scene that where she is introduced to the real harsh and mean world and it may seem that her innocence is shattered in front of her but Majidi brilliantly pulls off one thing throughout the film that even after going through harshness, bullying throughout the film, uh, bullying of society, of classes, the class struggle is there. But throughout the film, even at the end of the film also, you will see that the innocence of the childs are intact. And that's the most powerful thing about the film. There is another sequence where the father and the son goes to a posh area of the city uh, to offer gardening services. But the father, a simple poor man, uh, can't understand how to talk in the intercoms and it it is a funny scene but there is a, a silent uh, sorrowness of the class struggle there and uh, ultimately his son helps him out so this is another striking sequence which I feel is. this film has also been remade in Hindi called Bam Bam Bole starring Darshil Safari the film is critically acclaimed and celebrated throughout the world even today and considered to be one of the best films made on children. Uh, it was nominated for the Academy Awards for Best Foreign Film. However, it didn't win. Following the success of Children of Heaven, in 1999, Majidi made another film called Color of Paradise. This is another film with a kid as the main character. The story revolves around a boy who is blind and his father who is a widower and wants to marry again. But he doesn't want his would-to-be bride's family to know about his son because if they find out that his son is blind, they might call the off the wedding, seeing it as a bad omen. While the father is making preparations to send the boy away, the boy and his sisters roam around the hills and it seems that the boy uh, has a very uh, unique uh, understanding and connection with the nature. He can understand the sounds of nature. He can 
uh, sort of communicate with animals so he has a very special connect with the nature he is a smart kid as he goes to his sister's school once and starts to read uh, in braille which actually uh, surprises the teacher then the boy is sent to a blind carpenter and from here i think the film starts to become philosophical where the kid starts to question the existence of god and how he can reach to god because he doesn't want to live in this uh, in this harsh and cruel society and the way he is treated by his father he can't take it so he wants to go to god and he starts asking question to the blind carpenter about the god as the marriage doesn't work out his father comes back and takes him back so while going through the wood uh, the boy slips from his father and is fallen into the river and at that point of time there is a sequence where his father is unsure of whether to jump in the river and save him or let his son get drowned uh, as if it will be better for uh, him to go away as he is a burden to the family however the father finally jumps in the water but his son is already uh, washed away and his body is uh, found near the shore of a sea uh, so his father tries to wake him up but his body doesn't move at all uh, now here is the artistic brilliance of majidi comes in the sequence is that it is dawn uh, the sun is almost rising and uh, the birds are uh, also woken up and started to sing and suddenly we see the finger of the boy moving as if he is trying to talk with the nature in braille or maybe he is dead and he has found god so this is how brilliant majidi is because he pulls off a complex quest of humanity and faith through a main character of a child then in 2001 he made a film called baran it is one of my personal favorite of his films and also one of the best love stories that i have seen it's a love story set up in the backdrop of a construction site which is near the afghanistan border so in the construction site there works a boy named latif and uh, he is a iranian citizen and he brings tea to the laborers but then there is an accident where an afghan uh, worker is seriously hurt and he is sent to home but because he is very poor he sends his son to the labor site but the boy that uh, comes to the site is very uh, weak and uh, the owner of the construction site thinks that he won't be able to uh, do very laborious manual work so he gives the work of taking tea to the workers to this new boy and he sends latif to uh, do the manual uh, hard labor work now latif is basically a lazy guy he doesn't wants to work uh, this hard now because of all this latif is very angry on the new boy and he wants to take revenge on him and he starts to plot many things against him but soon latif realizes that the boy is actually a girl disguised as a boy so it's not allowed for girls to mix with men in the working place slowly a relation develops between two of them this film has won many international awards it has been shown in almost all the prestigious film festivals across the world the last film that we are going to discuss about this fantastic filmmaker is one of my personal favorite film 
of all time and according to me it's one of the most human film ever made the name of the film is song of sparrows this is a story of a man called kareem who works in a ostrich firm but he is fired when an ostrich runs away then he tries to do some other jobs to uh, support his family but again within some time he breaks his leg What strikes me the most about this film is how a poor man who is struggling financially and there are a lot of problems going around his family doesn't give up on honesty. According to him to live a dignified life you must earn honestly stick to the basic core values and whatever you may earn it doesn't matter because the financial status always doesn't means it is a dignified life the performance given by reza nazi as kareem is one of the best you will ever come across and he has won multiple awards for this film also the film is extremely celebrated throughout the world has got many awards throughout the world and it has been shown in almost all the respected film festivals across the world so this brings us to the end of this episode if you remember in the start of this series i mentioned that we will be going to discuss about six iranian filmmakers we have already discussed about four of them and the rest two we will be bringing on very soon if you haven't watched our episodes i will be providing the link in the description it will be great if you can like share and subscribe to the channel keep supporting us thank you